Happy Sunday, everybody. This is a pick a card reading for today, May 21st, Sunday. You pick a card, it's your main energy. I do pull them all together. And if you're born today, May 21st, I will be doing a reading for you next. If you pick card number one, you have the Three of Swords. All right. All right. You may have to wait for, for someone out there. It's money that someone owes you or money that you've been waiting for. You may have to wait. If you have a closing or an important legal, um, something legal going on, like an agreement or something, or a negotiation, whatever it is, you may have to wait another three weeks, approximately is what I'm feeling here. That's the first thing that I picked up here. For others of you, I do feel that something that you've been hoping for, yeah, there can be a delay in it, is what I'm definitely feeling here. Um... Others of you, watch your finances. There can't be someone who's meddling in it or sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Uh, for some of you, this is an ex that may owe you money and that will come in, even though you doubt it. So I do feel that energy. Some of us are just focusing on triggers today. You may hear from someone from the past. I do feel that energy as well. All right, card number two is the Knight of Cups. All right, so this is a good um, energy here. I do feel it. But for some of you, you're thinking negatively or somebody's, um, you're feeling like someone's like kind of putting you down or some, there, there could be something that um, you're hoping for, but you've um, not, or, or you, I don't know. There's just that energy of just blah is what I'm feeling, okay? Believe me, I feel there's a blessing in disguise, if anything, but you do not see it. All right. I do feel you've been maybe upset because you've been working hard on something. Um, maybe you set high standards for yourself to, um, but, the, or you're doing too many repetitive tasks and you're like, okay, this is not happening. I'm not manifesting what I want or something like that, but it, it, it is, it is, it's coming in. You just don't see it. I feel there's a blessing in disguise. If anything, this is usually good news. Manifestation is strongly indicated here in practicality. Um, making some absolute decisions is what I'm feeling. And maybe that's what's bugging you. You could be thinking of business or something that you've been wanting, but don't let the ego get in the way, okay? Trust that your diligence in that is going to be rewar rewarded. I do see blessings coming in from the universe just when you least expect it is what I'm picking up. Interesting. Card number three is the major arcana of the moon, so important day for you. All right, today is not a day to make a quick decision. You may be confused. You may be wondering what's going on. Um, there could be some emotional confusion, not knowing um, what's going on, um, some triggers too, but um, the answers will come. I want. To, it's like the best is to sit still, clear your mind, and you're going to have a strong epiphany. You need to follow your intuition. What is your gut telling you? If everything seems fine and your gut's telling you something's wrong, believe it. If everything is uh, kind of bad or whatever's going, around, going on, but you feel good about something, believe it. So your gut here is really important today as well. Um, I do feel that maybe you have to reevaluate something because maybe someone's asking you or you need to make a huge sacrifice. Is it going to pay off for you? Okay, so patiently waiting is going to be important as well. And I do feel here some truths will be revealed. All right, and an enlightenment and epiphany is going to come through and there could be a strong change of perceptive, uh, perce uh, pers perspective. <laughs> All right, so when I'm looking at this, expect the unexpected today. I do feel that there could be a quick shift of energy for good or for bad. Um, so it depends on how the day starts for you. I do feel a, a shift of energy. Expect the unexpected. There's a turn of events is what I'm feeling. Um, it is a clearing off um, some negativity as well. I do feel for some of us, we need to open ourselves to give and receive because we could be a little bit more just uptight or shut down. All right. So I do feel that energy. There is a shift here. We're not, we're going to be thinking more with our heads than with our hearts as well. Um, though we're feeling trapped and stuck when we have to realize why. Um, I do feel here there could be a strike of a new idea. Um, we're curious about something too. 
Knowledge is our power today, and there's new ways of communicating. So communications are kind of transforming for some of us and changes. There's a lot of restless energy here too. Too much overthinking, okay? So I do feel that energy as well. All right, so that is the reading for today, May 21st, Sunday. Have a fabulous Sunday. Happy birthday if you're born today, May 21st. This is your solar year theme, and that is your wish card for the solar year. You have the Ace of Swords. Powerful year. Powerful announcement. Powerful decision. Communications are sharp. Beautiful. Some truths will be revealed. You have an ending. If you do have something legal or official or anything to deal with um, documents that are uh, official, there is a victory. It's going to go your way. Okay, you may have a powerful, um, strong idea that could be very lucrative this year as well. For some of you, you may come out and express something in your relationship, and this could bring um, a divorce, a separation. Okay, so I do feel that um, a truth or a secret may come out, which will create some kind of um, depression or something. You know, it's like a surprise or a shock but you will get over it quickly. You're going to move forward. You're going to make some decisions to move forward. There could be some important travel plans. Um, and um, whatever happens, anything negative, you're going. it is a blessing in disguise is what I'm picking up here too. This is a year of dealing with some jealousy around you too. You may find out who your real true friends are. Um, persistence is going to be um, important, but you be, your faith is going to be tested. Your resilience is going to be tested. Okay, you're going to have to set up some boundaries, all right? Make your last stand this year, too. And I do feel also you're kind of weary about some things, but there is a strong completion. You have strength, compassion, completion, optimism, though there is some suffering that I'm seeing that it needs to be cleared, too. Um, new financial beginning, new job is coming out, or some kind of important proposal. All right. Your wish for your solar year is a major arcana of lo the lover's card. So this is an important wish for you. For some of you, I feel it is something is going to transform. And a choice that you make is going to help bring this to fruition. It's without questioning. So it's a strong yes for some. For others, I feel perhaps not because there's going to be some sudden change in a situation or something um, or something ends. And then um, you it's going to be a blessing in disguise because it's going to be something else that you're going to be wishing for. OK, important numbers for your solar year. Three, nine, two, one, 13, six. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and a blessed solar year ahead and beyond everyone else. A wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye for now.